Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode on The Pope Show. And today, we are finally gonna be able to test the 18 pound valve springs from Go Power Sports. And they are upgrade because, because the higher RPMs that you go when you start putting performance parts on, let's just say a Predator engine, because those are you know basic engines that people upgrade. Um, the higher RPMs you go, the more likely you are to float a valve. Which floating a valve is when you're pushing that valve so fa or so fast up and down that the spring will actually pop off, and you can have a valve drop down into your cylinder, which would be terrible. <laughs> would not be good. So you want to make sure as you're doing the upgrades, you help upgrade the valve springs with it. So I wanted to test something because you know the question always is. Well, do I need to put bigger valve springs on if I just to remove my governor? Only one way to test, and that is switch out one of the springs, or both, but I'm gonna do one to see if there's really a difference. So I'm gonna go from the stock spring, which I can push with just my fingers, to an 18 pound spring from Go Power Sports that I can just barely push, I mean, you can tell the difference. This one's way beefier. So, we are going to just replace one and then I'm gonna take the valve cover off and I am just gonna run this thing full balls and see if I can have this stock spring pop off this baby. I'm really hoping it will. It'd be pretty cool if I can get that on camera. All right guys, so first of all, let's go ahead and take the head off. And then we will remove the retainer spring. Take that off. Then we'll put a little something underneath the valve. That way it pushes the valve up. And then we will push on there with our fingers. And I'll be able to put that lock spot. Okay guys, so in the first test, I tried doing it without the valve cover on, but for some reason it would only start once, and then I couldn't get it to start after pulling it a bunch of times. I don't know if the vacuum affects it, but they shouldn't. I should be able to keep the valve cover up. So I don't know what's going on there. I'm going to try starting it with the valve cover on and see if I can get it going.
Okay, guys, it's been like a half hour that the thing's been running, and it's still running strong, and there's oil, as you can see, all over my garage, all over my tripod, it was on the camera, which sucks. <laughs> um, but it kept on running, and I was afraid that it was gonna run out of oil and then just seize the engine, which when I stopped it, I checked the oil and it was out, so thank God I stopped it. But I'm really surprised that thing just kept on running and running, it non-stop, freaking machine. Now that was just with uh, bypassing the governor. It still has, you know, the stock carburetor, stock exhaust. So what I want to try, cause I'm really curious whenever I ride my little boy's go-kart, when I full throttle it so much, I'm always worried that I'm gonna throw a valve or float a valve. So I want to try with his exhaust. See if the exhaust does a little bit of difference. If not, I don't know. I think I'm gonna run out of gas before one of these uh, valve springs pop off. I'm Let's go ahead and put this on. Okay, so oil's topped off. Got the new muffler on. The governor, the bypass the governor, and just a muffler. And then there's no air filter on there, so that pretty much be the same as a pod. Let's start it up. guys I am really shocked I ran it again for 20 minutes wide open no governor with a different exhaust so there's no back pressure and that thing is a freaking champ it's still held on the springs are still exactly the same they have not changed at all the valve lash is the same that's insane I thought for sure I thought for sure it'd been like 10 minutes and then boom, you know, cool spring's gonna pop off. That'll look really cool. Nothing. I'm just sitting here for 20 minutes again, just listening to this thing, just keep on running. So I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know, but with this engine, which is a Tecumseh six horse, which is pretty much the same as a Predator, with the bypass and the governor and a custom exhaust. The stock springs held up just fine. I mean, you've seen it. It was just fine. I know it was smoking a lot. That's just because the oil was coming back from the uh, the case vent, which I plugged that, but it was still coming through and hitting the exhaust and a bunch of smoke. Nothing I can really do there because I wanted to be able to see it whenever the spring popped off, but nothing. I mean, I'm just running out of gas. I'm running out of oil. This thing's just a beast. There's nothing I can do about it. But you know, it's going to be different if you have the upgrade kit for the Predator. If you have bigger jets in there, it's going to have more fuel in there. So, you know, it's going to be a bigger boom. Maybe that's what it is. So if you put bigger jets, then I would, you know, I would still recommend putting bigger valve springs in. But I was trying to see if you just take the governor out. And with a custom exhaust, if I still have to get 18 pound uh, valve springs. Which, proof right here, I really don't have to. Because this engine ran like crazy with no problem, no floating valve. So, and also, I don't know if it's gonna make a difference if there's a load. I don't know if that would do something. I don't know, but I'm running out of oil and gas, so my test, the thing I wanted tested, worked out. Sorry I didn't get an exploding spring popping out and all that good stuff, which I wish I could've. Oh well, I, I wanna keep this engine, so I don't wanna keep on pushing it and explode and seize the engine. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to put it back together. But in other news, I actually just traded uh, that small go-kart for a couple engines I'll show you. Okay guys, so these are the four engines that I got for the trade. Um, the first one is an eight horse Briggs & Stratton, big ol' hoss. But this one, I don't know if it runs because the coil acts up on it and sometimes it will catch, sometimes it won't. And all these motors, I haven't really dug into them yet. I mean. I just got them yesterday, so. But the coil, I have to take that and off and see if what's going on in the coil, if a spring or something. And then the biggest downer is it has a step shaft, and the step shaft, the it, the shaft was actually sheared off, so there's no threads in there or anything for me to actually put a clutch on. 
which really sucks because I this, I mean that's the main thing I wanted was this big engine because I have a project for it I'm not gonna tell you yet but I wanted a decent sized engine for it because it weighs a little bit so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one yet this one kind of bummer but you know it still is eight horse and he said it does run so I might just have to do some tinking with it and then the second one is a Honda Honda five horse and obviously this one needs a coil and you know he said all these run so take that with a grain of salt we'll find out but once we get the coil on here then we can actually test see if it runs and it also also is going to need a boot because this one is broken and there is no uh, threads in there like that little screw I was telling you about uh, on the blaster so I'm gonna need a new boot and there still is the wire so we're good uh, you know there still is the wire coming from the coil so we're still good on that one we'll just have to get a new boot for it before we can uh, hear her start up so all right the next one is another Honda another Honda five horse um, the overhead cam and this one actually does run I did get this one to start right up we tested it uh, before I picked it up because I wanted to at least have one start up and so this one so this one's all ready to rock and roll and all three of these have the three-quarter inch shaft so I can put a clutch right to them they're key they have everything that's that's nice thank God so once I get these going now I have the same exact motor so I have two I got two five horse Hondas well actually three with the red one but these ones are uh, exactly the same but this one I couldn't get it to start um, actually has an aftermarket kill switch with it but I couldn't get it to run just on the day but we really didn't have you know a lot of fuel to play with it starter fluid so I might just have to you know clean the carburetor or something I really haven't dug into it yet but I was pretty excited because this one you know they're both the same and they both have three quarter inch shaft and this one is actually missing you know quite a few pieces as you can tell and the guy buggered with the uh, throttle linkage um, I don't know what he's trying to do probably trying to pass bypass the uh, governor but I'm in luck because I have had this other engine for a year that is the same exact engine and it has all the parts this one actually does run but the reason I could never use it is because look at that shaft that shaft is about an inch and a half to maybe two inches long you know compared to where compared to you know one of these shafts so I can never use it because I can never put a clutch on it the shaft just wasn't long enough it was ironic as this is the actual motor that came with that cart that I traded so I think it's a match made in heaven man so I got all four of these and probably in a video in a little bit I'll actually work on all of them and get it running with you guys so I can try to diagnose some problems and help you guys out but alright guys so those are my engines that I traded for the little go-kart that uh, the sprocket kept on falling off on it and it was just really too short for me it didn't feel comfortable I felt like you know when you work on go-karts and a lot of toys you know when you have a project that's just gonna cause a lot of problems and I felt like that was gonna be one so I just went ahead and uh, traded it off so I got those four engines I'm happy you know I think it was a match made in heaven knowing that you know I had that one engine that five horsepower with a short shaft for a year now and then I just go and buy these engines and it's a perfect one I can just take everything off move it over beautiful so I'm happy but uh so going back to you know the reason I made this video was you know to test those valve springs um, the 18 pound ones from Go Power Sports uh, they did work beautifully no problem there but you know I wouldn't really recommend them unless if you put bigger jets into your carburetor because I had you know like I said the governor was remo not removed but it was bypassed and I had a custom exhaust on it and it ran for 40 minutes and was just fine you know so take it with a grain of salt if you want to do it or not but I personally want it you know I would say the 20 bucks and 
you know, I'll spend it on something else. But, you know, I don't know, maybe the Predator engines are a little bit different. But to my knowledge, you know, a six horse is a six horse. I mean, it's the same thing. But so take, take it with a grain of salt. If you want to buy them, you know, go ahead and buy them. It's not going to hurt anything. But if you want to save 20 bucks, you know, I'd say just run with it. But anywho, so next week we will get back to the blaster. We will go ahead and dig into the wiring and get that figured out and hopefully get it running. So I'll see you guys next week. Peace. 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 Pay. Peace. Peace.